బిజాయి సాయి రెడ్డి శ్రీ బిజాయి సాయి రెడ్డి సార్ వైస్ చైర్మన్ సార్ ఐ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ మై వైఎస్ఆర్ కాంగ్రెస్ పార్టీ అండ్ మై ప్రెసిడెంట్ శ్రీ వైఎస్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి గారు వీ సపోర్ట్ దిస్ బిల్ హౌ ఎవర్ వీ వుడ్ లైక్ టు బ్రింగ్ టు ది నోటీస్ ఆఫ్ ది గవర్నమెంట్ త్రీ ఇష్యూస్ విచ్ ఆర్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సార్ ఐ డ్రా ది అటెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ది రెస్పెక్టెడ్ మినిస్టర్ టు ది క్లాస్ సిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ది పేమెంట్ ఆఫ్ వేజెస్ అమెండ్మెంట్ బిల్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ i just uh, 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 read it all wages shall be paid in current coin or currency notes or by check or by crediting the wages in the bank account of the employee sir it gives an impression probably minister has to clarify see in the earlier section that has been repealed and then this uh, uh, section that is substituted the only difference what i could find is that in the earlier section there were uh, a reference to 1000 rupees notes and then 500 rupees notes and in this section it says current coin or current currency that's the only difference what i could find out probably if there is any other difference the interpretation what i could make from this is that even today see in view of the in view of the issues that which i'll come to the later as i as i understand that even today the payment of wages can be made by way of cash this is what we have interpreted however i'll proceed further and there is a uh, there is a provision to this also provided that the appropriate government i leave every uh, appropriate government i leave everything i'll come to the last la last line the wages only by check or by crediting the wages in his bank account see the provision says that it is only by way of check whereas main clause 6 says that it can be made payment can be made either by coins current current coins or current current currency there is a contradiction according to the minister may clarify it and further the in the last line says wages in his bank account it gives an impression that it is applicable only to the male male workers so according to me this has to be slightly altered it should say that in his or her bank account this is what my interpretation is correct me if i am wrong the honorable minister sir sir secondly three other issues sir 27% of the villages rural india villages in india have got the banking access within 5 6 kilometers range if the intention of the objective of the act is to make the payment only by way of check into the or credit into the bank accounts of the employee how is it possible to credit the amount in the bank account of the employee where the banking facilities are not available uh, uh, at least uh, uh, say about 75% of the villages are not covered are not uh, uh, there is no banking infrastructure this is point number 1 to one sir therefore i request the government to first in first create the banking infrastructure so that the act can be implemented more effectively sir secondly 90% as as the honorable members have pointed out 90% of the workforce in this country are in the unorganized sector so i request the government to make this act applicable even to the unorganized sector workers also this is another request my third point sir this the whole exercise what ma'am please sir this i i really don't understand why the government has opted to issue uh, pro promulgate the ordinance for this particular act sir of course president of india honorable president of india has got every right to promulgate an ordinance under article 123 of the constitution uh, depends upon the exigencies 
and if the situation is so warrant that in case if he feels that the law should be brought into force immediately he can promulgate the ordinance nobody nobody will deny that nobody will say no to that sir i bring it to your kind notice that parliament was in session from 16th november to 16th december on the last day probably one day before the closing of the last session on 15th 15th december probably the act has been introduced this bill has been introduced in lok sabha subsequently since that could not be passed by both the houses of the parliament probably the government of india has opted to issue an ordinance on 28th december or some 28th december or so so i sincerely feel instead of resorting to this promulgation of ordinance route probably here and after government of india may directly introduce the bill unless it is unless it is really warranted so this is the, this is the suggestion what i could make sir therefore my 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 first suggestion is that the uh, government of india should make its effort to create the banking ex, uh, banking infrastructure throughout the country uh, uh, and then uh, promul promulgation of ordinance should be avoided and uh, uh, thirdly the unorganized workforce in the unorganized sector also uh, uh, the act should be made applicable to them thank you very much thank you sri d